Hello everyone, Carmen from New York here. I've been a photographer here in New York City for the last 50 years. This is photography class number 249. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and email me at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com and I'll answer your photography questions. All right. What's today's class all about? Today's class is the Nifty 50. Good for street photography. As you know, the Nifty 50, that's just a phrase that's been given to the 50 millimeter lens. So many photographers feel that the lens, which is usually a 50 millimeter, that comes in the box when you buy a new camera or even a used camera, that it's useless. It's just, uh, it's just a lens cap with glass. No, 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 no. I'm going to show you over a dozen photographs that I took yesterday here in Manhattan. In the pouring rain, that this 50 millimeter lens on this camera, right, or any digital camera, this just happens to be a 20 year old Canon camera. It is the Canon EOS Rebel 300D. It's 20 years old. It's APS-C size crop sensor, and it's six megapixels. Guys, this is the, probably one of the most inexpensive cameras you can get which just adds to the fact that once you start looking at these photographs that I took in Manhattan with the nifty 50 on a 20 year old under $50 camera you'll realize that the importance of a 50 millimeter lens just can't be beat So why a 50 millimeter lens? Well, first of all, it's a 50 millimeter lens, right? Field of view, which is similar, not exactly what your eye sees, right? As far as uh, wide angle or telephoto. But when you put it on a crop sensor camera, it's approximately a 75 millimeter lens, right? Which just gives you a little bit of telephoto, just a little bit, right? Which is really good for street photography. This way you don't have to be in somebody's face to take their picture. So as we go through this class, it's gonna be pretty short. You're gonna look at photographs, black and white and color. took with this lens, the Nifty 50. Now, what is this lens? This is the Canon EF 50 millimeter 1.8 Roman numeral two autofocus lens mounted on this 20 year old six, one, two, three, four, five, six megapixel camera, the 300D from Canon. Now, Here's why I love 50 millimeter lenses. First of all, they're light. They're very, very light. Now, you might think, oh, I have a zoom that that's 50 millimeters is covered in the range, right? Like this huge Canon 28 to 135 image stabilized lens, right? 50 millimeters is in there, right? It's between 28 and 135. But look at the difference. Look at the difference. If you're going to be out doing street photography all day, look at the difference in the size and the weight. Now, there's 50 millimeter prime lenses, 
like this one, right? This is the one that I have on here. This is a prime. Prime just means it's not a zoom, right? It's one focal length, right? This is a 1.8. But in this one, this one's better in low light because it's an f1.4. All right, now you can see this is the 1.4, right? The f1.4, and this is the f1.8. You can see the difference that this lens has a much bigger front em uh, front element. See how much wider it is? That's to let in more light. This lens from Nikon, right? The 50 millimeter 1.4 Nikkor lens is the hottest selling 50 millimeter lens for your Nikon F mount cameras. Um, okay. Is it good for street photography? Well, you've been looking at photographs. What I'm getting at, don't poo-poo. Don't disregard your 50 millimeter lens. This shows you how it's a hard working lens, your 50 millimeter. Okay, so enjoy the photographs. Enjoy this episode. Subscribe. It's number 249. And look at that. Our next episode will be 250. Oh, and by the way, we're creeping up to our 1 millionth view. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.